Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking Ninja Turtles. So there was a guy that is leaving the country and he had this ginormous Ninja Turtles collection just stored away in his storage area. And he just wanted all his stuff to go to a good home. Actually leaving like in two days and he forgot all about his storage unit. And he's like, oh shit, I got all these toys. He didn't want to just give it to a thrift store because he said that he didn't want all this to be like kind of picked apart. He wanted it to go to like one place. So he just put it, he just slapped on a price of 50 bucks on it. And I saw it and I was like, be there, just hold on, okay? So I ran, so I drove over there and I got this awesome collection. So this is this is not all the collection. There are like some vehicle things over there and there's actually some more figures and stuff, but this is just kind of like most of the figures just put in a little pile. When I was little, I really was not into Ninja Turtles. I know that my older brother was, you know, we watched like the Ninja Turtle movies. I know that he watched them, you know, on like TV and stuff. But you know, as a little girl, I was just not into Ninja Turtles. Now that I have this giant collection, this amazing, amazing collection, I am just super, super pumped to start collecting Ninja Turtle stuff finally. Cause I feel like I have enough to justify me saying, okay, okay, let's get serious. Let's get serious about Ninja Turtles. So let's just take a quick look of all these awesome things that I got. So the first line that we're gonna be looking at is the basic assortment from 1988. And that includes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 all together. So as you can see, I am missing two. So I am actually missing Shredder and I am missing a Ninja Turtle. I am missing Raphael. Here is Donatello, um, all their accessories and stuff. Like I'm telling you, I have like so many bags of accessories that this whole bin came with. So I know that his weapons and his belt will most likely be in there. Mikey, he's missing his belt too. And also his weapons must be in the accessory bags. Leonardo has a squishy head. Michelangelo's got a squishy head, but then Donatello has a hard head. So I don't know if maybe, I don't know, maybe these aren't the original Ninja Turtles. I don't know if anyone wants to clarify that for me. So then here's April O'Neil, always has her legs open, ready for business. I really hate how she stands. She is like, the stupidest, stupidest, oh God, she's wrecking everything. Oh, maybe she's like flimsier than usual, but this, I don't like her. I don't like her face. I like how she's like one of the only females like in the whole line and they didn't really put that much effort into her. When I was little, I always got like Splinter and Shredder mixed up when my brother was like watching TV. I'm like, who's that? Who's that? Is that Shredder? Is that Splinter? Next is the foot soldier, Ebop with his turtle shell drill of Rocksteady. So next we have the 1988 vehicles and there are one, two, three, four, five all together, but I have one, two, three, four. So the one that I am missing is the knucklehead. So the first one that we'll look up is the cheapskate. So this is like a little skate, a little skateboard. And let's get, let's get Splinter on here. Ah, yes, skateboard. And then when you pop a wheelie, you get like this like kick action. So let's pop a wheelie. I don't know if Splinter can pop a wheelie. Ah, yes, I know how to pop a wheelie. Okay, so ready? So we go like this. Woo, wait, woo. Oh yeah, there it goes. Just, ah, oh, why are you like, like spread eagled with your feet? Like who stands like that spread eagle? Like, yeah, I'm bending it and it's still so hard. Yes, pop a wheelie. Okay, ready? Oh, that's so cool. So next we have the party wagon. And this is actually, this is actually from my collection. So I just brought it just to show how like all the vehicles and stuff. So this was the party wagon and there's like a spot for you to sit right here and kind of like shoot and throw stuff. And also you can release like some of the bombs and stuff from the side here, like all the sink bombs and stuff. This was the blimp and let's get Michelangelo cause he's been pretty good to us. So here you can like sit in here and you're like shooting and stuff. Also had this blimp that went on top. These two holes here that when you blow up your blimp, um, you can just like attach it to the holes here and stuff on, on the blimp. Pull this trigger right here and it releases the bomb. So it's like, yeah, yeah, ah! And the last vehicle that I have is the Turtle Trooper. So here is the parachute. You would attach it to like this right here in here. Ah, oh, this is so difficult. Ugh. Okay, well he's in here and then he's like, yeah, and he's like firing things out of here and whatnot and he's like parachuting down. Ah, oh, sweet, Turtle Force fan club, become an honorary reptile. Then there's other things that came out like these gag jokes and crazy weapons. There was like a squirting ring, disappearing ink, there was a razor, 
Um, and then there was also some like costume stuff. On to 1989. So here are the 1989 basic assortment figures. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten all together, but I am missing only one. I'm missing Usagi Yojimbo. I guess Yojimbo, I guess that's how you say it. Because my brother took my um, Casey Jones and he took my Krang. This is Ace Duck. I keep wanting to call him Howard the Duck. So this is Ace Duck. Genghis Frog. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. This, this is Genghis Frog over here. I really like his colors. I like the little bumps and stuff on his body. It's pretty cool texture. Here we have Metalhead. It has really cool metal kind of gold detailing on him. And then also in the back here, he's got like a golden shell. So the, here we have a Baxter Stockman. Uh, looks like maybe he has a scientist coat on or something and he turned into a fly. I don't know, not really too sure. Here we have Leatherhead. I really appreciate this figure because it's so good at standing. Look, boom. Oh, okay, that was a bad example. But look, boom. Oh, okay, that was a bad example again. Pink tongue in there, look at that. Eh. General Treg. Don't know what this guy's story is, but I appreciate his body. I, I don't know if this is armor. I don't know if this is part of his body, but it's really cool. Inside here, I don't know if you can see, there's like spider webs. There's like even a kind of a lizard here. There's a whole bunch of other little kind of creatures and rocky things. I think there's a snake here too somewhere. Yeah, right here. And yeah, he's just got really cool body. He's got a cool body. Very interesting. Keeping the ladies interested in that body for sure. So there are actually four figures in the wacky lineup for the 1989 line. There is the rock and roll Michelangelo and there is the break fighting Raphael. There's also um, a mouser figure and then there's a sewer swimming Donatello. So you do that and he goes like this. Rock and roll, man. Yeah, party. This is Raphael. Um, so what he's supposed to do is there supposed to be like a kind of a little um, panel here and you press it in. He's supposed to like start spinning, spinning. Yeah, pizza time, cowabunga. Man, I'd love to go like river tubing with this thing. Two sewer tubes. There is the sewer party tube. So I have the sewer party tube and then there's the sewer army tube. And that's like kind of like camo, camo looking a little different. Next we have the crazy artillery. These are actually really fun. There's actually three crazy artillery in total. There is this guy. This is the retro catapult. There is the flush matic and there's a double barreled plunger gun. Inside here, there's so much like fish and bones and milk cartons and all this kind of garbage. So essentially a turtle would sit here and you can just go Boop. So next are the 1989 vehicles and accessories. So there are supposed to be six altogether, but I only have two that I found here. So this is the turtle cycle here. And there's supposed to be like a garbage can in here. And then this is the foot ski. This is a foot clan vehicle. And I am missing the gun here. I'm sure it's in the accessory bag, but I just couldn't find it yet. This is shredded. I with the heart turtles, but like cross going through it. So I have here two out of the six. I am missing the foot cruiser, the pizza thrower, the big sewer play set. And I'm also missing the retro mutagen ooze. turtle plushes. There was like kind of plushy turtles with like suction cups on them. Let's move on to the 1990 releases. So to start off our 1990 line, we're gonna start off with the disguised turtles. Leo, the sewer samurai. This is such a cool figure. I love samurai in general. We have Donatello, the undercover turtle. So he's got this cool mask on. And then when you take it off. It's just his face. Oh God, did I just break it? Little things that you can stick. This is the Raphael space cadet. So look, his like helmet comes off. I can tell that this was probably like, a lot of people are like looking for this. They're like, oh, I lost it. Oh, I lost it. Cause it really completes the figure. And if you don't have it, kind of like looks kind of weird. Back there, oh look, he's got like some kind of little alien attached to him on the back. Mikey, the sewer surfer. And this guy is just awesome. He's got like an octopus here on his uh, flipper. He's got some crabs on him. He's got some seaweed and he's got these sharks on him. Like these little like baby shark friends. Let's move on to the 1990 basic figure. So there is supposed to be a total of 13, but I am missing a couple. It's Lash. This is supposed to be the evil turtle from Dimension X. I love that shell as well. Pizza Face is probably one of my favorite characters for sure. I just love, well, not only do I love food in general and stuff, but like this guy just has so many cool little details. He's got like turtle pizza. He's got like a knife right here. He's got like pizza sauce all over him. He's got like some ingredients in the back there. It looks like this is a Donatello and he has a store shell, which is pretty cool. So you can kind of put whatever you want in there, which is pretty awesome for a kid. And he's probably one of the worst stander uppers ever. Ray Filet. This guy is again, one of my favorites. He's so cool looking. He looks like, he looks like, I don't know, like a toothpaste commercial guy. He's like, Rrr. his fin back here because he's a manta ray. Ondo Gecko. This guy I notice is very, very dirty. He has a home to like 
dirt on him. I must've had so much fun playing with this guy when they were little. I really love this guy. Look, he's got like a little skateboard um, on his tail here. He can stand anywhere. I believe it's called Wingnut. And I think he comes with like a little guy called Screw Loose. I'm sure I have him in the back there with my accessories. Triceraton. Dude, like look at this, his tail just helps him stand. Like, look at that. Helps him stand. Can stand anywhere. Do you wanna stand there? Or do you wanna stand over here, maybe? How do you stand over here? It's a play on like Napoleon Bonaparte, I guess, obviously. So this is Napoleon Bonafrog. Missing actually a total of five. I'm missing Panda Con. I am missing Fugitoid. I'm missing um, Scumbag. And I'm also missing Muck Man, which is a really cool figure. And I'm missing Mutagen Man, which is also awesome figure. To continue with the 1990 line, we have the wacky action figures. So there's supposed to be three altogether. There is supposed to be the sword slicing Leonardo. There's supposed to be the um, creepy crawling Splinter. And there is the slice and dice Shredder, which I do not have. Wind him up, slicing through the air. Oh, so efficient. Yes, yes. Yes. But what he does is, I know that he looks like he's trying to, you know, boogie. Oh, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. And so let's see if we can make this guy crawl. Go, go. It looks like he's just like dry humping. Oh yeah, it's not really doing much, is it? Next up, we have some wacky weapons. There was Uzi, so this is what this is. And then there was also a sewer seltzer cannon. So what this Uzi is, is it's like, oh look, Ninja Turtle Pizza, home of the nice slice. Take out orders here. Oh, come on turtles, come over here. And then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, think again. So long turtles right here from like Shredder. Come on turtles, come get a slice. Think again. Like, uh. Uh. So that is it for me in terms of the stuff that I have from the 1990 lineup. The other things that they had in the 1990 lineup were the giant turtles. Um, they had some wacky vehicles like the sludge mobile, the toilet taxi. They had pizza powered vehicles like the psycho, psycho cycle and the sewer dragster. And they also had mega mutants. There was like a needle nose and a killer bee. And those are really cool figures. They also had some other vehicles and play sets like the turtle copter and the mutant module. And they also had the technodrome. And I think they also had like some little role play things in miscellaneous toys like Raphael's sewer spy goggles, Michelangelo's sewer exploration belts, Leonardo's sewer force sword and a mutant maker. Let's move on to the 1991s. Oh, <laughs> please stand. Oh my God. Can you stand for like one second? and then you can fall for the rest of your life. Okay, Leonardo, you know what? Just, just take a knee, just take a knee, okay? Sport turtles. So that is Slam Duncan Dawn. And you know what? You can take a knee too. Grand Slammin' Raphael. We have Slapshot Leo. Yeah, Canada hockey. Yeah, represent. We have TD Tossin Leo. So here we go. Leo tossing around a football and he definitely can't stand. So he can just sit down for now. I'm missing um, Shell Kicking Raph. So that's like the soccer one. And then I'm missing Shell Slamming Mike. So that's like a really cool wrestler one. So there was some rock and rolling turtles. The guy that I got these from didn't have any of these. There was like Rap and Mike, Punk Don, Classic Rocker Leo, and Heavy Metal Raph. Um, so he didn't have any of those, but there are the storage shell turtles that are next. In one of the previous lines, there was the Donatello storage shell um, figure. And so in 1991, they decided to make uh, a whole line of the storage shell figures. Like put anything you want in there, but like, I don't know, like as little boys, like what did you put in there? Like. I don't know, did you put your snot in there? Next, we have a really cool lineup. We have the Mutant Military, so I'm missing two. Um, so there is Raph, the Green Teen Beret, and then we have Pro Pilot Dawn. So I am missing Midshipman Mike and Lieutenant Leo. Uh, come on, just stand up. How are, you, how are you supposed to fight if you can't even stand? We have the other figures. So here we have Skateboarding Mike, Make My Day Leo. Yeah, you can make my day with that police uniform, you know what I'm saying? And then he, ah, God damn it! Ah, it's okay, you guys can all sit down. Okay, and then this guy, this guy's pretty, pretty cool. You see his eyes bulge out a little bit when you do that. Um, and then also you can like open his mouth like this. Unsanitation department, so funny. Okay, and like he's got like tentacle for a leg. And this guy's name is like, Worm, Worm, Worm. I, don't, I have no idea what this guy's name is. Dirt bag. So this guy's pretty cool. Look how tough he is. Look, he's got mom tattoo on there. Oh, he's so sweet and emotional. Oh, he loves his mom. Tough exterior, but a soft inside. Yeah. Toka, and we have Razar. If you guys remember these from the 1991 movie, I think it was from. Uh, it was from Secret of the Ooze. So that was the second movie. Snapping Turtle Toka. And remember in the movie, they're like, Shredder's like, babies, 
They're babies. <laughs> it's just so funny. And here's the back here. He's got a little tail. Browser right here, he's like furry. He's got a little fur pattern all around here. He's got like this little kind of plate. Oh, yeah, that comes off too. Oh, look at those abs. Oh, I didn't know you're packing that under there, Razar. Oh, wow. Why don't you take that off? Why don't you just leave it like that so we can see your abs instead of putting the shield here so we don't know what we're working with. We have the Super Shredder. So I'm missing a whole bunch of like the ones from this set. I'm missing the Hose Him Down Donatello. I am missing Sergeant Bananas, which I really want because Sergeant Bananas looks so cool. I'm missing Zack the Neutrino. I'm missing Walkabout, Tattoo, Space, Usagi. I am missing Chrome Dome. Um, and ground shuck and yeah. Okay guys, so there's a whole bunch of other turtles left in the 1991 series, but it looks like there's really not that many left um, that he had kind of like close to complete lines and sets of. So it looks like generally the person that got this from was collecting mostly from like 1988 to 1991 basically. And there are some other turtles like here and there, you know, like there's this one from like 1993. I don't really know what this guy's what this guy's deal is, but like, he goes like that, like, I don't know. I never really understood how much actually like the turtles and I had in common. Like this, like I seriously had pizza like two days in a row because I just, I love pizza so much. So yeah, guys, there are just so many awesome figures in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise. I mean, these toys are just so awesome, so colorful, so detailed. Yeah, they might not be able to stand up right, but you have to admit they are pretty unique. Super happy to kickstart my collection with, you know, all these figures, all these vehicles and specialty kind of weapons and little play sets and whatnot. So I'm just so excited to start collecting um, these guys like fully and just be actually like an avid collector. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I got. I know this might've been like a little bit of a boring video, but I was super, super excited to show you guys what I got. So let me know in the comments down below if you collected Ninja Turtles when you were young and what was your favorite figure? So please remember to like, comment and subscribe. She come out with new video every Wednesday and Saturday, except if she gets the divided for the Chinese. Needs food. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay watching the Wii. Whee!